Now, the standard assumption is that Native Americans on the whole fought on the side of the British. When in actual fact, many Native American groups tried to remain neutral. They didn't know how it was all going to turn out. They tried to remain neutral. Some did align with, align with the British, and others, in turn, not that many, will align with the Americans. And this is an important part of our story because it really has to do with the splitting of this very beautifully unified confederacy. So with this background information, let's make a transition into the coming of the American Revolution in 1774 and into 1775. We all know that the war broke out at Lexington and Concord on the 19th of April in 1775. We know that the rebels were determined to resist what they viewed as British tyranny and that the British were determined to maintain those colonies because those colonies were very valuable to the British. There was no doubt about that. So we're in this situation now where everyone, whether you're an English settler or let's say you're an American Indian or let's say you're an African American in slavery, everyone has to begin to make a decision. What side am I going to be on? And that's very, very important because normally we only think that that involves the English settlers, when in reality there are other populations out there that have to make the same kind of decisions. Part of our misunderstanding, or shall we say just not being aware of the information, is that Native American groups did have to make those decisions. And many of them remain neutral. The best course was to stay out of this so-called family quarrel that is going on with England. That's the best position to maintain. But for others, they really got drawn in in a variety of ways. And that will certainly be the case with the Six Nations and it will be a situation that doesn't necessarily end happily uh, for those nations. So let me explain it this way. Let's go to the year 1775. Let's first of all talk about the American position. Beginning in May of 1775, the Continental Congress, well actually a second Congress, convenes in Philadelphia. And one of the actions of this Congress is to try to get the word out encouraging Native Americans everywhere to stay neutral, stay out of, as they put it, their words, this family quarrel with England. That message was sent to the Six Nations. We seek your neutrality. Let us work this out with our British brothers. Stay out of it. Well, that's all well and good, but the process had already begun on the part of the British turning it to the other side to try to encourage at least some Native American groups to join the British side. After all, the argument is, who was taking your land? Who was stealing your property? Why wouldn't you want to join us? We're the ones who will help preserve your territory. 